Hello everyone, I'm glad to have you back at Rome 2 Total War. This time we are in a new save game since our previous game, which I wasn't very active in uploading, uh, became unusable after the latest updates to the mods and the game itself, which I found were um, not save game compatible. So I thought why not start the classical grand campaign of Rome instead of the uh, the civil war that happens a lot later in time and I would like to start off with the house of Junia which would be the founding fathers of the Roman Empire um, they get massive uh, public bonuses by uh, having the Latin culture which is gonna help us grow the Empire and keep people happy once Latin culture comes in um, it has been a while though since I've been playing and the mods that I used to have were heavily updated. Uh, all the unit cards are now custom. I see there's loads of different types of units available right away. At your command. Let me see what we got here. Oh, Militia. This unit even has some Principes. Alright, first of all, I want to get Junius Brutus. I want to replace him because I'm, I'm a great fan of... Um, what is this? Septimus? Yes. Right. Um, I'm a great fan of the warfare on land. And I want to have Junius Brutus as a uh, general on the land, not on the on the seas. I can have some minor general up there. I want Brutus on the land since you know he's a. Uh, I think he's a leading character of House of Junia when you start. So he's gonna be very useful. All right, so we got four thousand two hundred to spend this turn. First of all, we're gonna have to research or research some technology, which will be land management. Um, I think we're gonna have to work towards getting the population in Magna Graecia, which is the southern part of Italy and Sicily. Uh, we're gonna have to keep them happy some way, and I think it works. I'm gonna expand this and add a um, a public forum or a temple. Let's add a temple since we need to convert the uh, population to the Latin culture even more since it's only at 50%. And then in that was in Brindisium. We're gonna build a temple there. And in Casentia, I want to get some farmlands going now I have 1800 left to spare what do you wish of me we can either use that right now or we'll save it up because I think we might just need it later in case we uh, get some nasty surprise from a faction that doesn't like us we do have a negative bonus against most of the people in the area. Um, I want to see if I can trade with I will share your words with Carthage. The people of Carthage. See if they can pay me money for it as well. Well, they did. We accept these. Paid me a thousand for a trade contract. The Syracusians didn't really like that since they are our enemies. Um, and Athens is importing lots of stuff, and they're the client state of Macedonia. I am here to listen if you speak honestly. They don't Truth wish to will be your either. sharpest way. Um. Welcome. These guys speak. are Hellenics. Come on. Well, I think we're good for now. We'll gain twelve hundred a turn. Not bad for a start. Uh, might as well start. Uh, working on some stuff in Neapolis since it's a safe place compared to Aratium 
and Armini Ariminum, which is to the border, which borders two Celtic tribes, the Phoenicians there and the Ligurians over there. So I'd rather build a high quality building in Neapolis, which is quite safe compared to these two provinces um, or regions. And we'll start off with, oh, we can't build a workshop yet. That is too bad. For the time being, we'll just add a, hmm, what should we add? Quarry for wealth. And then we should be good for the next turn. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we can, uh, oh, we can still put an edict in our place. Uh, romanization. Commercial stimulation. Hmm. Tax harvesting. We need them taxes. Let's see if someone declares war in the first turn. And some people might be asking, why are you doing this? Why are you not playing DayZ? I am playing DayZ every now and then. But it doesn't occur too often that there is uh, enough stuff to record and form it into an episode. So I'm still eagerly awaiting the nice uh, footage to be shot on DayZ. While that is still not really happening, we can play this sort of stuff. Because I know there's some people out there that like these videos. And I do not want to do... Uh, I want to do them a favor? Is it? I don't know. I, I just don't want to neglect anyone watching the channel. And whether you are a great fan of DayZ, whether you are a fan of Rome, Mountain Blade, anything with history or fantasy, uh, I just don't want to uh, neglect any of the people that are watching this channel. So if there's anything you want to see besides this game, I'm probably going to play The Forest, Mountain Blade, Viking Conquest, obviously. Um, soon maybe Mountain Blade Le Aigle or whatever the Eagle uh, it's about uh, Napoleonic warfare and when it comes out on multiplayer I'm gonna record some stuff um, Daisy obviously uh, this week we have H1Z1 coming out free to play zombie survival game might record some of that just to try it out and if there's anything that you might want to see and you can comment about that and I'll look at it, see if it's interesting, and if it is, I'll record some. So, now, after that long rant of could I play it or could I not play it, we are going to continue to manage this little place. Um, I think I can stand patrol, plus four public order. Just to keep the balance of uh, happy peoples in this place. And, well, it's, it's neutralized now, so a zero, so we don't get any negative happiness, but we also do not gain positive happiness in the realm. Athens. Greetings. Why doesn't Athens want to we trade? We are civilized folk. <laughs> Probably because they import a large amount of wares and they don't sell anything. Not sure if I want to trade with the Greeks. Maybe Sparta. Sparta is nice. But, uh, Athens, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll capture Athens and forge an alliance with Sparta because they're the are war yours. type. The um, we would do good in capturing this area here, though. Since, um, this place manufactures glass. Or, is this marble or glass? I think it's glass. Um, Good for trade, if we capture that. In the meanwhile, I'm just looking at some units that we can get. I wonder what that flag stands for. Alright, let's go for the next turn. Really hoping for some good uh, income coming up. Since Rome was sort of the center of economy, that's why it was able to grow so well in a Mediterranean climate. Perfect position for trading with the Eastern Empires, 
with Greek um, Greek states, and also Spain, North Africa. It's perfect, but also a place where you make many enemies, uh, which we will find out later in the game or in the campaign, because usually Commander. it turns out to be quite the uh, slaughter fest once uh, once we start to become more influential and once we get a good uh, good amount of money flowing through our system people will become jealous and from jealousy comes war but I guess you like war don't you else it wouldn't be called Rome total war and you wouldn't be watching it either if we were being the peacekeepers all the time it would be quite boring so we will invade someplace soon I'm looking for a little bit of a uh, oh, war declared between Syracuse and the Carthadastim, Karth or Carthaginians. Um, start it right there. Carthage is going to win that, obviously. But Syracuse just took Lilibaeum. Oh, excuse me. I do have an idea, though. We might be able to take... Syracuse and Lilibaeum away from under the nose of the Carthaginians because um, we kind of need that place as well what can we recruit here we can recruit Tarantian Echodromoi Hoplites 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 hey which are Greek style spearmen hoplites and we have Tarentinoi Pantodapoi which would be colonist levies which are terrible and these Thuriophoroi Thuria's spears are really nice but we can't recruit them and I know why we need to unlock this military researching technology first and in the next tree there will be a unit I think it's a unit reform that will reform our units and allows us to uh, recruit units like the ones shown alright let's recruit a well that guy looks like a zombie look at that Neus Bantius, Bantermate, Marcus Attilius Regulus, Lucius Papirius Cursor. Hey, this guy's famous. Uh, Decimus Junius Brutus. Well, we'll raise his army here. We hunger for this guy's a legend. And these guys cost 166 a turn. Uh, shouldn't get too much. We still need to keep that economy, economy flowing. Well, uh, and we're moving an army south. That's your command. Now I think we can um, recruit Sicilians here as well. Sell swords, but they're very expensive. Uh, like I said before, maybe in the previous uh, videos I've done about Rome or on Rome is that when you use mercenaries a lot of people use them in the wrong way you're not supposed to recruit them and keep them what you're supposed to do is right before the war right before you field your troops you want to find some mercenaries oh Carthage lost Lena Bay I already knew that um, yes uh, what you want to do with the mercenaries is that you recruit them right before you field your units towards the, the enemy. And what you do is you place them where you think they will uh, receive the heavy blow of the enemy forces. So let's say you have a mercenary spare unit. You put them in the front and center and either use them for shields from uh, 
projectiles like arrows, spears, uh, maybe stones from slingers or artillery, and you use them well, aka get them killed because you pay a lot of money to them. And you know what they say, a dead mercenary is a cheap mercenary because you don't have to pay him after the battle. That's really the life of a mercenary in the old times. Um, and then especially in the Middle Ages, when mercenaries were hired, they were often put into really shitty conditions where they had to At your command. fight in uneven odds. You know, which wasn't the greatest thing you could do to Commander. your troops, but, you know, what, what would they care? March until your feet bleed, then march <sighs> but if, if a mercenary would capture a knight, then, you know, they would make a ton of money and they could basically retire because, um, you know, knights were noble at the time. Not that was later than uh, Rome, though. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about the Middle Ages here. I'm, I'm really excited for a new medieval Total War game. Uh, I'm really hoping they're working on something like that. But, uh, yeah, you never really know what they do. Alright, now we can go research some supply reforms. And enables the building of manipular barracks. And we shall be building these in Rome. Cost 2,400. We'll have enough for it now. After that, we shall also research something in the mm, engineering area so that we can make workshops and start increasing the armor and the weapons of our infantry and cavalry for that matter. Ooh, I feel so tactical today. Okay, war declared, that would be Athens and Epirus, two Greek um, factions, or Hellenic factions, they're not actually Greek yet, I think. Um, I don't know about that, should I take advantage of that war? Hang on, I, I need to look at Epirus. They're at war with both Sparta and Athens. Hmm. Change of plans. We'll take Syracuse later. For we shall conquer... ...our good friends, the... What are they called anyway? Epirusians? I have no idea. Um, let's see if we can recruit some hoplites. We'll need them. Um, There's one problem though. Um, with this here, is that both these factions, both the Venetians and the Ligurians, are not too happy with this. Um, but the Ligurians are busy fighting the Insubres which are their neighbors mm, so they probably won't attack us but the Venetians have no war going on right now and they approve only the expansionism Roma and they hate us for our culture and our trespasses against the Etruscan League which we did not really do ourselves we didn't really do that, but uh, before the campaign started, uh, our Roman city-state, or no, it's not really city-state. It's a, it's a 
What is it? It's not a republic. It's an empire, I think. No, it's not an empire either. What are we right now? A... I don't know. I'll just call it a faction for now. Um... But what happened was, um, we conquered the Etruscans, and apparently they were friends with the Venetians, so... That sort of pisses them off. And that's why I think they're going to attack us soon, because they're also growing an army right now. Well, they didn't attack us yet. At your command. Commander. Right. The way is blocked. Now we are not. Uh, our farm is done, by the way. We are not really gaining a lot of money at the moment. Explanation for that would be the units we've recently recruited Ready here. Um. Not a gr big problem, though, but... Julius Levo... 42 years Ready old. For orders. These generals are all pretty old. We hunger for battle. We right, hunger. so we're gonna cross the ocean, or the, the sea. To the ships. Excuse me. On course. Um... Yes. I don't think anyone's friends with Epirus still. Which is a good thing. My time is better spent. You want to prey on the weak, which in this case would be the uh, the people from Epirus. They do have wine. Um, it's not really a factory. They 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 make wine in Apollonia, so it's going to be another export product for us. While well, we already have one, but you know, extra wouldn't harm. Um. Yes, next turn. We'll have our first fight soon. Of which I am very excited about. I'm really curious about uh, how the mod has developed since I haven't played it, which is quite a while ago. I, it was literally the last time I played was when we were recording the Mark Anthony campaign. And, um, yeah, that's already quite a while ago. Look at the amount of spear units that these guys are getting. Melee defense of 71, melee attack of 12, 300 men in each unit. Here's 200 in ours. We have a higher defense, more armor, more morale, and more health. We hunger for battle. Ready for I don't battle. know. Under you won't win that, Ready obviously. Rorari is only 30. A difference of 30 coins a turn. And we're running low on money. Fleet reporting. We'll just quickly have to take up on here. Moving out! It is an honor to serve Rome. Blocked! We cannot pass. Ready for orders. And Let's declare war. Wait, I I can go to Athens. For the sake of friendship that has been and friendship to come, greetings. Now, if let us I seek join the war against Ep well, apparently not. Um, non-aggression pact. If I tr join against Epirus, rejected. No. Last night the earth shook as the gods moved. All right. Excellent. We ex non aggression. You speak with wisdom and grace. We accept and Im right then. Uh, Sparta will go for a non aggression pact with them. Now we All right. So we're at war with Epirus now. Put your backs into it, you men. The ship cannot go there. Your orders. The ship cannot go there. It is an honor to serve Rome. What the bloody hell? That's loads of people defending that place. 
archers, citizen militia. Right. We can encircle them for Lay sixteen turns. To the settlement. It is an honor to disembarking now. To victory. Ready for orders. At once. What are these? Agrarian cell swords, mercenary hot plates, hard lancers. All right, we'll have two extra units of mercenaries. And now tables have kind of turned. And is there a quick save? Yes, there is. We'll quickly make use of that and we'll go into our first battle.